Hi guys, my name is Dan Zun from FMB. The topic I want to share today is waste separation in Malaysia. First of all, what do you understand about waste separation? The waste separation is actually the process which waste is separated into different elements. Waste separation will be compulsory in Bila Pesekutuan, Pahang, Johor, Melaka, Polis, Kerda and also the Negeri Sembilan. Since 1st of the September 2015, which is the last year, so Pernati with maximum compound of 1,000 ringgit will be take effect starting from the 1st of June 2016. Actually, there are the three easy steps for us to separate the waste, our own solid waste. The first step is to separate the waste material according to their types. Next, temporarily store the waste material in the sustainable container. Finally, place them in the garbage or during the collection date. Waste collection in Malaysia have their own schedule. Household collection will be occur once twice a week, while the recycle collection will be occur once a week. Ways of waste collection in Malaysia have normally by using landfill. Landfill is actually the place to dispose of refuse and other waste material by burning it and covering it with a layer of soil. Based on my research, the Ai Hitam Sentry is one of the landfill in Malaysia. Next, the people in Malaysia normally doing their waste separation by 3R, which is known as reuse, recycle, and also the re reusing. Besides that, we can actually do our waste separation in Malaysia by separate the waste material according to their types. For example, blue recycle bin is for paper, brown recycle bin is for glass, and orange recycle bin is for plastic. Why do we need to separate waste? It, it actually is a good question. Firstly, it is to prevent disposal of recycled material. Next, waste separation is used to reduce amount of waste and save natural resources in the earth. When can we do our waste separation in Malaysia? Waste separation in Malaysia can be occurred exactly by separate waste material manually at household. Types of waste mat material use usually include household and recycle waste. The Waste Management in Malaysia, WMAM, which is also known as the Persatuan Pengurusan Sisa Malaysia, is an association for the waste management professional. I hope people in Malaysia can be more active in the waste separation, which is many benefits to all of us. So I think it's all for today. Thank you.